that's for later on. Right now, we're going back to the run back. Haven gets his chance to get uh, his revenge against Sola, who um, kind of ran away with uh, the first game against uh, Haven's Wario. But I guess Haven has been putting in a little bit more work. He's been able to get a little bit more confident after what he was able to do uh, on the loser side of things in bracket. So I'm guessing the Wario is a little bit more polished for uh, the run back. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll see how, uh, you know, what adjustments Haven probably made, you know, in the uh, into intermediate, you know, after that. Again, I don't think Wario was a bad choice by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, you know, Wario definitely has the tools to get around, you know, hero shenanigans very easily. Mm -hmm. So I am very much looking forward to seeing how uh, this shakes out here. Right now, you know, off to a pretty solid start. Yeah, right now, both these players sitting at pretty even percent. It's more of a, if Wario can just uh, keep <clears throat> Excuse me. If Wario can just keep uh, the hero at the ledge for most of the matchup and not allow uh, anything to any of these uh, projectiles to hit him, I mean, we could be seeing uh, Wario kind of run away with this. But um, one thing that a uh, hero wants to be very cautious about is uh, trying to take these stocks as early as possible, whether it's with your projectiles or with the brawl matchup, just getting in their face. Um, you want to steal them as early as possible because that waft in about 45 seconds will be seen to come into play, and that down smash catching. Sola sealing the first stock and getting first blood is Haven. Yep, Sola committing to a high recovery there with the uh, uh, Kaswoosh, but you know Haven there to hit a you know again a pretty stagnant target. And again, I think Wario definitely gives you the best chance to win here, just because there's going to be a lot of instances where uh, Sola is going to be just standing still reading. So you know Wario is going to be able to get in there and uh, really uh, you know wreck things. Mm -hmm. Right now, um, the only person getting wrecked right now is Sola because he can't seem to find his openings and uh, early waft. Uh, I mean, I respect the option coming out from uh, Haven. It definitely could have caught um, Sola off guard and definitely could have sealed the stock. But um, could could be something that cost him this uh, game if uh, if Sola is able to get back in it. Yeah, it's still pretty early, so I think you can afford to waste a waft on the first stock. You know, I think when you get into crunch time. It, that definitely becomes a little bit more of a factor here. Uh, but using the Accelerattle, though, is is definitely something you have to be mindful of. Uh, but Haven able to escape further harm there. And again, adding on a lot of decent extra credit here. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, despite having a plethora of options, you know, boost your kill power. Uh, and then some Sola having a rough time getting this, uh, this first stock off of Haven. Yeah, one thing we're seeing a lot differently from uh, from Haven, especially, um, is... Um He's not showing any signs of fear. If he has to get, oh no, that's a stock taken away. Guessing the air dodge? I mean, something was thrown out that uh, costed Sola that stock, but he was definitely safe to begin with. Just a little bit too uh, close to the blast zone to uh, to get a little bit antsy there. But unfortunate way to go out for Sola. I mean, down to one stock, and that waft is just probably a minute away from getting uh, back into play for Haven. So um, the earlier that uh, Sola is able to get this next stock, the earlier he has a chance to bring this back in his favor. But it seems like Haven is just playing a lot more patient, just waiting for the options to come out, forcing Sola to do, um, to just uh, have to approach. Yep, absolutely. But, you know, gonna get the heal right there. And again, uh, you're gonna see Sola probably, uh, depending on a lot of these, you know, stat buffing, uh, uh, you know, magic spells to get themselves back in the thick of things. Uh, see Haven get, doing a good job holding on to the stock and a great read on the regular get up, you know, on the platform. You can Wario's bite is so frustrating, <laughs> especially because, you know, when you're in a close quarter situation. Mm -hmm. And now the snooze coming out, the Psyka back on deck. And now question is, is Sola going to be able to find the way to get the stock with the Psyka on deck in his arsenal? Oh, up to, yes, sir. We'll seal the stock. And now we are down to one stock a piece, but that waft looking mighty, <laughs> mighty strong right now. One, one up air, one up tilt is all it takes right now for Wario to get back and steal this game one. Well, not steal, but, uh, you know, just take away this game one. Yeah, your life, uh, you know, your stock longevity is definitely cut in half right now. If you're Boom! Sola and, yep, that's all you need to do, man. If you can, all Haven needed to do was convert once off of that and it was all she wrote. And that is the beauty of uh, Wario. You know, that X Factor that you always, you know, I've, I've been talking about X Factors all night for certain characters and Wario having one of the best ones you know, in the game uh, with that waft. So Haven, you know, able to get themselves on the board first here, looking to uh, avoid double jeopardy against uh, Sola. Yeah, I mean, good stuff to Haven. Definitely uh, shows that he um, he was thinking a lot about what he did wrong against Sola and uh, 
the first uh, encounter that they had. So um, definitely worked out in his favor. Um, good stuff to Haven game one. Um, Sola, however, he definitely showed signs of life. He definitely brought it back to one stock, even though he was uh, down for the majority uh, for a pretty, uh, pretty long time. Yeah, things definitely, uh, you know, looked a little, uh, you know, hairy for Sola. You know, didn't didn't really have, uh, uh, you know, great uh, control over that first game. But, you know, we'll see what adjustments they make. Curious to not see them go Corrin. Uh, you know, I feel like maybe, uh, <laughs> funny how both of these guys have a Corrin to play with. You know, it definitely <laughs> would have been fun to, uh, you know, to maybe see that be a wrinkle here. But I don't know. We'll see if, uh, uh, looks like Sola feels still pretty comfortable you know, going into battle with the hero. So we'll see if Haven can uh, win this in straight sets or if Sola can make it a uh, competitive. Yeah, you mentioned um, he could have brought out the corn, but I feel like uh, since uh, Haven is also a corn specialist, uh, that could also go against Sola just for the sole fact that Haven knows that character, what to expect and what um, to potentially uh, avoid. So um, st sticking with the hero, not a bad option. Definitely um, we could be seeing a, a change of pace for sure because... Uh, RNG is definitely different every game. Um, some things can work out in Sola's favor and some things may not even work out at all. But right now, keeping it very even is Sola, making sure that uh, Haven is forced to approach in some instances, going for a raw forward smash, almost connecting there. And with Psych Up, definitely would have killed. Yeah, that's the beauty of Psych Up, man. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's always one swing away from getting you back in the game. But, you know, you definitely, like we mentioned earlier, you want to uh, use it on a move that counts and you know, unfortunately you know you start getting in your own head of uh you, you know not uh you know being very reserved with your swings uh and as you see haven almost getting that kill because Woo! Of okay nice forward smash with the psych up that was about to be uh taken away from uh sola if he were not to use it because that also has some um that also has a limit as to how long it will last for you but um Right, good stuff to Sola. Just keeping uh, keeping stage control. Not for long, though, as he loses his first stock. But with 27% of extra credit, I mean, not much can be go, go wrong for Sola right now. Unless Haven, as we all know, can uh, just get a good combo game going before that Waff is fully on deck in the next five seconds. Yeah, definitely a factor that uh, you have to be mindful of. As you see, once again, you know, Sola uh, trying to get out of disadvantage against, uh, you know, Wario. <laughs> so like, like, there's so much there's like not really much you can do you just kind of force to sit and shield and wait for Wario to stop you know prancing around him <laughs> yeah and it seems to be working out right now for Haven as he has him back at 88% and now has the lead in his favor I mean one thing Solo really wants to do is just um really just really go for the hard hits whenever he sees the chance to do so I mean you do want to play safely you do want to make sure that uh, what you throw out is safe and not going to put you at a bad position i mean that thwack was a little bit uh, questionable but um it, nothing happened nothing went against him there and now he has the lead has wario off stage back throw yeah it's no punish get, getting uh, yep definitely getting hairy for both sides right there the down smash will connect not gonna be enough to get the kill just yet though and good awareness there for wow both. yeah that's gonna be all she wrote yeah great use of the magic burst right there that was gonna cover everything so uh haven having nowhere to go but still having waft on deck and uh yep doesn't even need it back here to, re to hit the get up attack uh excellent stuff right there from haven that still has waft to play with so mm -hmm. both these players are gonna have to rely on their usage of their tools i mean hero can kill pretty easily if he finds the right option to go for but haven however with the waft on deck, all it takes is a few more hits, probably one more good up tilt, maybe even up air to get the stock or at least put him, Sola, in a bad disadvantage state. But it seems like he's just allowing Sola to charge up and look at his menu, see what options he has to work around. There we go. Yep. You're having the uh, stat boosting moves right now, the oof being a big part of wow. that. And great tech from Haven. That was a game saving tech right there. Mm -hmm. Definitely could have gone bad right there for Haven, but good awareness. And he'd love to see it right there. Working out in his favor. The snooze not going to connect there. Almost catching Haven off guard, though, right there. But good awareness right there from Haven. All it takes is one good up air, maybe even up tilt to potentially st steal the game. Oh, my God. Almost getting it right there. Yeah, easy. Yeah, definitely have to be uh, on red alert near the ledge here as, you know, Sola definitely knows that he's uh, his clock is ticking at Uh oh 
Yeah, we're at a stalemate right now. None of these players really want to find an approach. They're just trying to find, make their opponent force the approach. Forward throw, gonna put him off stage. Kaboom, not gonna connect right there for Sola. Bad predicament right now. You're, you're in a bad state of mind if you're Sola, but avoiding oh. the WAF and getting the punish with the back air. We are going to a game three. Yeah, no, that was a uh, huge stuff. And unfortunately for Haven, you know, bet it all on uh, the waft connecting. And, you know, the waft did not connect and it left them open for that back air. So, you know, very close set, uh, you know, uh, you know, being fought between these two. And once again, Haven trying to avoid the double jeopardy. You hate to lose to the same guy twice in the same day, man. It does not feel good. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts a lot, especially when you feel like you finally found the adaptation that you needed to finally beat them. When you feel like you found the answer that could uh, work in your favor. I mean, Haven has been keeping it really close. He took game one, and that game two was uh, anybody's game. But it seems like that WAF just did not work in his favor when it mattered the most. And uh, Solo was able to steal that game two away from Haven. And now... Haven's really thinking about what to do. I mean, he, it's, I don't know if it's more of a, a stage pick or does he stick with the Wario? Does he go Corrin? I mean, it's, it's a lot of questions that Haven has to ask himself. I mean, like you mentioned, to lose to the same guy twice in the same bracket would be, oh, wait, what are we, what, what? A, um, are they going to go random? Are they going to gentlemen to random? I've never seen this before, at least not. I've never had there's the, no way there's no way I've never had the this. privilege to actually commentate something like this but uh I am down for it if they if they actually gentlemen to this I would be down w would it hurt to see uh if they got a character that they're not familiar with yeah but um I'm pretty sure both these players oh okay no way there's no way that soul is doing this there is no oh wow. my god Oh my. <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my wow. god. <laughs> Can we see a little Mac clinch top eight for Sola? Stay tuned as we get to commentate game three of Haven versus Sola. And um, yeah, I mean, I mentioned this to you before, uh, Koopa. Hey, um, Sola is known to play whatever random character he, he wants. So um, I don't know if this is uh, going against the RNG gods for him, but um, Wario versus little Mac. <laughs> I mean, you know better I mean, than hey, I do. Listen, <laughs> listen, like you said, you know, his his tag is gift. So I'm sure he's, you know, Little Mac is the gift that keeps on giving. And <laughs> listen, you know, you don't you don't need me to tell you that Little Mac's, you know, uh, recovery is going to get snuffed out pretty easily by Wario. But listen, in neutral, you know, I've seen crazier things happen. You know, scrapping with Mac up close can de is definitely nothing that most people want to uh, to deal with. And KO punches on deck. So essentially, the, the, you know, the... The, the odds are uh, very much in, you know, Sola's favor right now. Maybe yeah. another, like, 4, you know, to 8%, uh, you know, to net a kill. But Haven, uh, you know, definitely knowing he wants none of that smoke, probably just going to opt to, you know, circle camp on the platforms. Yeah, why not? I mean, you have the lead in terms of percentages. You don't really have to do much. You can stall out as much as you want because uh, even if you lose your stock for whatever reason, you can have the waft on deck. And now you have... I know you don't hear it, but I hear it. The crowd is popping off in the back, just saying, just uh, cheering on for Haven, I'm guessing, because of... Uh, oh, getting caught with the uppy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, you hear the crowd popping off in the background right now. And uh, <laughs> they love what they're seeing. They love the circle camp. They love to see platform was... camping. Hey, it's a viable strategy, folks. Do you want to scrap a little back up close with KO Punch? I don't. I'd rather <laughs> not. I mean... <laughs> How do we commentate like this? Man, Koopa, how do we commentate like this? <laughs> you commentate like you commentate any other match game. You just, you just gotta, you just gotta, you know, roll with it. And listen, that was exactly the strategy. If if you're Haven, you yeah. go for that. You know, you you know that your opponent has an ace up their sleeve, uh, and just like that, he's able to get waft on deck. So it's not like it was, you know, completely for the sake of circle camping. And now uh, has a huge lead right now and waft. So. You know, if, you know, granted Haven is still choosing to, you know, engage, uh, you know, Little Mac uh, nowhere close to getting the KO meter back on deck. So, yeah. you know, definitely really nothing to be afraid of right now. If you're yeah, and I mean, you have full waft as well. I mean, you're, oh, oh my no. God, that could have been so bad for for Sola, but uh, preventing any, anything, any jank from happening right there. Sola can definitely seal this next stock if he's able to find the opening, 110%. Up. Oh. Yeah, Haven's going to get back on stage safely. Waft, yes sir, gonna seal the stock, and now Haven running away with this game three. I mean, I don't, I still don't understand uh, the option choice uh, going random for uh, Sola, but it definitely did not work out in his favor right now. 
Yeah, uh, listen, the, the, the change, the random gods, unfortunately, were not really uh, on Sola's side right uh. here. As uh, yeah, that's gonna be all she wrote. And uh, <laughs> you know, Haven shaking his head, knowing that he was probably given a, uh, a Christmas gift uh, in July. So. <laughs> You know, you'll, we'll, we'll take those, man, as uh, Haven, you know, avoids double jeopardy, moves on uh, over Sola. So, listen, Sola, you know, made his bed with random and lied in it. And, unfortunately, that bed was Little Mac, so. Yeah, it's so weird. Um, With 75-plus uh, characters, um. <laughs> oh, is the last one? Yeah. Oh, all right, guys. That was the last match. Oh, that was last We're switching match. That commentators. Was the last match. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What, what, a, well, uh, what, listen, what a way to go out on. <laughs> Random Little Mac, I got to say. That was uh, quite the choice. But listen, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Again, uh, that was a lot of fun. You know, the, the, the rest of the bracket is going to shape up to be uh, something, uh, you know, great. You, again, you're seeing some familiar faces show up and some new faces you're probably not super familiar with. It's going to be fun. Enjoy it. You know, savor it. Offline is back. You yeah. know, you know it, it's we're, we're all you know, getting back to some semblance of normalcy, perhaps, maybe. I don't know yet, but <laughs> nonetheless, though, uh, Gabe, my man, it was a pleasure to sit down and talk with you today. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know how you're not roasting in long sleeves, man. I'm sweating just looking at you. Um, it's kind of, they, they kind of make it cold in the venue. I mean, I was cold last week, so I'm just like, let me, uh, let me prepare myself. Oh, I because am mondo yeah. sweating right now. It is hot <laughs> in my undisclosed location in my house. Of course. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm chilling. Yeah. I'm chilling right but now. But nonetheless, yeah. But nonetheless, though, uh, who's who's coming up next, uh, Calvin? Um, we, who's, who's your commentators? So we got Hangman and we got Dara coming up. Hey, A plus that's commentary. Poggers. Yeah, A plus is, commentary is, right there. That is super poggers. So mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoy the commentary stylings of two of my favorite people, uh, Dara and Hangman, coming up next. And uh, listen, stay tuned. You know, we got some more fusion action coming up after the break. I'm Koopa. I'm Gabe. See you guys on the other.